hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and today we are going to discuss about the snowflake architecture so snowflake consists mainly three parts in its architecture one is storage layer second is the compute layer third is the cloud services layer all these three components mix together and it makes uh, the snowflake architecture we also have another layer that we call as a cloud agnostic layer that means this layer contains any of the uh, components from any of the cloud provider so this layer i mean uh, the snowflake can works with any of the cloud provider either azure uh, azure aws or google it uses the compute power and the various services from each cloud provider and it makes the snowflake okay so snowflake itself it's a it's a main the the cloud services layer which is there it uses the compute power and the storage from the underlying cloud provider so in case of aws the storage is s3 bucket the compute resources are the ec2 instances on top of it it has the brain the brain brain of the snowflake is cloud uh, cloud services layer it provides the optimization management transactions security and governance metadata and sharing and collaboration so the sharing and all it is it is everything at the metadata level in the snowflake so this is we called as a metadata layer cloud services layer it it do the optimization of the query it checks the management the user has the access or not it keeps track all the transactions and maintain uh, the asset properties security and governance like the data is shared between with whom and all it also have the 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 uh, how the data is stored is encrypted and all so everything is a part of the cloud services layer it uses the compute and the storage power so snowflake has hybrid uh, architecture it is it is uses the uh, uh, both like the shared nothing and shared disk architecture okay shared nothing means it is having uh, its own like uh, whenever a virtual warehouse is running it's it uses the uh, uh, separate copy of the the data set okay and shared uh, disk means it has the single metadata layer which is using the uh, uh, all the compute resources and that storage okay so on the bottom line we have the database storage where our actual data resides in the uh, in in terms of micro partitions so the micro partitions is the the smallest unit where the data resides in the cloud storage okay so this cloud storage can be a s3 bucket a blob storage or the cloud storage query processing on top of the uh, stored data we have the query processing that means the virtual warehouse the actual compute power so in terms of cloud it is ec2 instances okay ec2 instances means it's a virtual machine okay this virtual machines access the data whatever the command provided by the cloud service layer to compute uh, it just go and fetch the data from the uh, database storage layer okay this warehouse comes with a different different sizes in in the t-shirt size like if you want less computation you can go with the smallest size if you need if your query is very complex and it it requires a lot of computation you can go with the bigger the excel or the 2xl 4xl virtual warehouse the charges will will vary according to the virtual size so uh, the, the virtual warehouse size so in snowflake the charging is how much compute capacity you are using and how much storage you are using average okay so this is storage charging is on an average basis for the monthly whereas the processing is like every minute charges 60 60 minute so it is like first 60 minute and then after on it is per second billing so whenever you start the warehouse it will be first build for the 60 minute 60 seconds even though you just on for a 10 seconds and you just uh, suspended that warehouse it will be it will be calculated for the 60 60 seconds minimum okay now on top of this we have the cloud services layer 
where we have authentication, access control, infrastructure manager, optimizer, metadata manager and security. So these are the three main components where we need to focus more on the each component of the architecture and and in this architecture we have like I think 10 to 20 percent questions coming in the certifications. So we will go with those uh, uh, concepts in the subsequent videos. So thank you for watching this video. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe and I will be uh, uploading the the snowflake related videos every weekend. So thank you all.